Hello, 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 my friends. Welcome back to my Caliente Kitchen. And I tell you, today I do have a Caliente topic. A question that most of my clients ask, friends, anyone that I run into and we start talking about probiotics, the first question that they tell me that they want to know is, can probiotics help me lose weight? Well, that's a big question. So my team and I decided to do the research. But before I tell you the answer, let me tell you what probiotics are if you didn't know. Probiotics are the good bacteria that live in your gut. And we want to have more good bacteria, the bad bacteria, to have a healthy gut. A healthy gut means a healthy you. All right, so what we know about a healthy gut, what we know about healthy gut is that if you have a healthy gut, you uh, have less risk for inflammation. Chronic inflammation, as we know, can create, can develop chronic diseases. Also, can help you with digestion, can help you with a ho the whole thing that has to do with a healthy gut. Digestion, absorbing food, metabolizing food. Also, there is a connection between a healthy gut and mental health. There's tons of promising health benefits having a healthy gut. And this is why we promote probiotics and of course prebiotics too. Prebiotics are the fibers the probiotics need to eat to survive and multiply because we want more probiotics. But again, the question is, can probiotics help you lose weight? The answer is maybe. <laughs> you didn't expect that, right? You were, you were wishing it was yes or no. It's maybe. Now, why did I say maybe? Because current research hasn't really defined the mechanisms and it's not and it's limited. This is why I say maybe. There are some promising research, yes. And let me tell you what we know. What we know is that if you have a healthy gut, you can regulate glucose better. Now, if you regulate glucose better, that means you will not store in fat. If you don't regulate glucose better, your metabolism for glucose is not so good, you start building fat, that is visceral fat, and that can create insulin resistance. Insulin resistance makes weight loss difficult and gain more weight. All right, but now also we know that the probiotics in the research that we have read, this is a hypothetical mechanism, by the way, is that actually they create bioactive compounds that can help your energy metabolism. And if you have a good energy metabolism, you burn fat. So what we know so far is that if you don't have a healthy gut, your risk of gaining weight is higher. We know that, but can they help you lose weight? We don't know the answer yet. The research that was done was with supplements and nothing wrong with that. But what they need to still know is the amount of probiotics and the strain of probiotics. It's not just any probiotics. And the two probiotics that are promising for fat loss are, and I'm gonna read them because I, this is so scientific names, Bifidobacterium and Lactobacillus SSP. Those are the two types of probiotics, and within those two, they have many strains. So they yet to discover those strains and the amounts and see if it can help us lose weight. Now, the other promising thing about this research that we were reading was that women had a better effect than men. Good news for women. Anyhow, what we know though is that you should still eat probiotics and prebiotics. Why? Because having a healthy gut, like I said, can prevent weight gain, can prevent inflammation, it is connected to mental health, and actually can help you regulate glucose better. So there's many health benefits. But the losing weight, we're still in a maybe. 
Now, where you can find probiotics? In fermented foods. And by the way, not all fermented foods have probiotics. If you buy fermented foods, make sure you read in the package that it has probiotics. So I bought some products to make an example here, how can I use my probiotics? So I bought fermented cabbage, fermented beets, fermented carrots, and this little uh, here, this is all nice fermented uh, cabbage with beets and carrots with probiotics in it. Of course, sauerkraut, and then pickles, fermented pickles with probiotics, and of course, good old Greek yogurt, Greek yogurt, and any yogurt that is fermented, of course, with probiotics, read those labels that have probiotics, and actually they need to tell you too the types of probiotics they have, the strains that they have. So I have two ways to show you how to use these fermented foods. Now, as a Peruvian, I love rice and fried egg. Love it. I think in the eight, you know, Peru has a lot of Asian uh, in, uh, in, uh, <laughs> fusion and therefore influence. That's what I'm trying to say. And therefore, we love fried eggs with rice. And one way that you can do that is by adding this delicious cabbage, fermented cabbage with your rice and eggs while eating dinner, or maybe this could be a breakfast food. And I'm gonna actually have a little taste because it's so good. Mmm. Amazing stuff. This is really, really good. Okay. Now the next one, I'm gonna make a smoothie, of course, because that's another great way to get probiotics and prebiotics. So for the smoothie, I use kefir. Now kefir is liquid fermented milk, right, with probiotics. And, I, and by the way, the recipe is in the link. You can see it. Go to my blog, manoviacorta.com. So this is kefir. I'm actually going to add a little water in here too because kefir is a bit thick. Then I'm going to add prunes. This is, these are California prunes. Prunes are known to have prebiotics and it helps the growth of all the probiotics. So it helps keeping a healthy gut. So five prunes in there, chia seeds for the fiber. Fiber is good for the gut too as well. And of course I'm gonna use, uh, these are frozen blueberries and they are high in bioactive compound polyphenols and polyphenols are good for your heart. And also obviously fiber and fiber is good for the gut. So this, this smoothie here is a great smoothie that you can use as breakfast or a snack, and it has prebiotics and probiotics. Let's give it a, a shake in here. And remember, you can visit my website, manuelvillacorta.com, to find my services. All right, so yeah, manerviacorta.com to find my services, to find um, my blog, my articles, my videos, my recipes. You find it all. If you need to talk to me about weight loss, I do offer a free consultation that you can talk to me so I can hear about your goals. All right, now let's taste this beauty. Ooh, so nice and purple. I love it. Mmm. This is really good and good for your God. All right, my friends. So I hope you have learned something new today. Remember, can you lose weight with probiotics? Maybe. <laughs> so, but continue eating. What I'm going to recommend is to eat every day something with probiotics. Every day. And a little bit. doesn't have to be a lot. Little yogurt, little kefir little fermented food, cabbage, sauerkraut, pickles, whatever you like. And then, of course, eat plenty of fiber. 
25 to 30 grams a day and the fiber needs to come from whole grains, fruits and vegetables. All right, my friends, I hope you have enjoyed today's Caliente topic and go with those probiotics and pre 